Hey what's up everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can install NV player on your Amazon Fire Stick device step by step. And the best part, you don't need to waste time digging through a shady website to find a working download link. I have already added NV player to my custom Fire Stick app store on Unlinked, which means you can install it in just a couple of clicks, safe, fast and hassle free. NV player is official external player used by apps like BTV. And it gives you smooth, high quality video playback with zero ads and zero interruptions. So in this video, I will throw entire process of installing NV player on your Fire Stick, setting it up for the first time and I will even share some tips to get the most out of it. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is move left, slide down and click on the search bar. You will see an on-screen keypad where you can search any app that is available on the Amazon App Store. Today, we are here for the downloader app, so let's type the downloader. Ok, after typing one word, search list appears, so we don't need to type entire spelling. Slide down and click on the downloader. Next, click on this bright orange color downloader icon. Now here it will give us the ability to download and install this app on our file stick device. So let's click on the download button by pressing remote center button. It will take a few seconds depending on your internet speed. Once downloader is installed, we need to give download app permissions to download and install apps that are not available on the Amazon App Store. So hold down your remote home button, then move right, click on settings. Move right, click on my Fire TV. And guys, here you can see that I have developer option on my Fire Stick screen. If you don't see this option on your Fire TV, don't worry, it's super easy to get. All you need to do is click on about. And here, click on your file stick name about 7 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 7. After that, you will have a little pop up below asking you developer option enabled. In my case, you can see that asking me no need. You already have developer option. So you too have a developer option. Now hit the remote back button, slide down and click on the developer option. Now here, we need to turn on apps from unknown sources. If you are using file stick for KMX, your menu might look little different. In that case, just turn on downloader app instead. As you see, I'm using Firestick 4K Max, so I will do that. But if you are using Firestick 4K, then you have to turn on both ADB debugging and developer options. So let's turn on apps from unknown sources. Turn it on. Now we need to launch our downloader app that we have installed on our device. And the easiest way to do that, hold down your remote home button just like before. And right at this time, we are going to select apps. Here you will find all the application that you have installed on your device. And the last app that we have installed, always go to the bottom of the list. So slide down and click on the downloader app. First, I'm launching this app. It will ask you some permissions. So click allow and then hit ok. Guys, this is the home screen of the downloader app. Here you will see some menus on the left side and a search bar on the home screen. So let's click on the search bar by pressing remote center button two times. Once, twice. Then you have a keyboard on your screen, allowing you to visit any website that you are looking for and download app that you want to download on your Amazon Fire Stick device. Today, we are here for the Unlinked app. So let's type the URL link of the Unlinked app store. After typing URL link, slide down and click on the go button. Now a page will appear. Scroll down till you find Android. Click on it and you will connect to the server and your downloading will be start. Now quick reminder, apps like this stream free content I always suggest using a reliable VPN. Personally, I recommend NordVPN. It keeps your activity private, protect your data and prevent your ISP from tracking or throttling your connection. Plus, it works smoothly on Fire Stick, Android and other devices. I have got an exclusive link for the NordVPN in this video's description. So make sure to check that out if you want to safe and secure streaming. When the downloading is complete, a page will appear asking you to install the app. Move right, click on install. Once installation is finished, click on done button and delete backup files to free space. Select delete for installation files and confirm delete. Now for this again, go to settings on your Fire Stick, open my Fire TV, then developer option and then install unknown sources. Here you will see your app unlinked is off. Make sure it's turned on. Now come back to your app gallery and open unlinked app. Click on add a new library by pressing remote center button two times. Once, twice. Now you have to enter a very simple code. 
hit enter and you will see a collection of apps that are not available on the Amazon App Store. Scroll down until you find Envy Player. Click on it and your downloading will be start instantly. It's really that simple. Install any app on your Fire Stick. Once installed, NV Player will work perfectly with BTV, Film Plus, and any app requiring external players. It gives you smooth playback, high quality video support, and works with almost every link source. That's it, guys. We have got the app. Now hold down your remote home button and select apps just like before. As I told you before, here you will find all the applications that you have installed on your device. And the last tab that we have installed always go to the bottom of the list. So scroll down and launch the NV player. Now you are ready to enjoy movies, TV shows and live streams using many apps, all boosted by NV player for a smooth and stable experience. If this video helped you, please click on subscribe button, like button and share with your friends so they can enjoy high quality streaming on their Fire Stick devices. Thanks for watching, I will see you in the next video.